right, here we go with the former world title challenger, Gilbert Durinho Burns. Perhaps a little bit undersized for welterweight, but he has resided within this top five since he moved up from 55. From the moment, John, you didn't know what to expect from Gilbert Burns at 170. But he has shown that he has the ability to compete with the best. And if you aren't the best, he buzzes right through you. I was very impressed by the way he handled the Neil Magny challenge. And he looks to prove again why he is the elite of the elite in the welterweight division. And he's also a promoter's dream. A lot of people feel like eventually Gilbert Burns is going to work himself back into a championship setting. But of course, the big fights at 170 pounds continue for one of the best from Brazil, Gilbert Burns. veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Third party in the octagon Good. tonight. Good. All right, well, if you follow Gilbert Burns' career, you know this man actually prefers to strike over grappling at this point of his career. He has gone a great lengths to round out that side of his game under the guidance of Henry Hooks. Every round begins on the feet. Gilbert Burns wants to throw hands tonight. We'll see how it goes early in this round. Let me see that hook. Oh, nice jab up top by Short. Both fighters throwing heat now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just out of range with that right hand. Counters with the straight right. Oh, nice check on the leg kickoff right there. Counter left. Connected with a solid punch right there. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Frantic pace early on to this one. Well, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Punch there by Burns. Takedown defense is there. Now goes to the uppercut. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. And just misses with that big right hand. Body kick now by the Korean Super Bowl. Just over three minutes to go round one. Leg kick lands. Oh, he lands another counter strike here. He has landed several in this round. And if you are a counter striking stylist, you can do worse than watching this guy compete. Beautiful job defensively, head movement, foot movement, and ultimately finding a home for these counter shots repeatedly in this round. Great body kick there. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get bad. Look, Lance. Takedown defense holds up. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. Two minutes to go. 
Oh, spinning heel kick connects. Impressive. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Well, that overhand big weapon for him throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Tries to work it into a takedown. Nasty body kick downstairs. Lands a big elbow there. Right hand over the top. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. And another one. This both men going for the finish. So under a minute to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots. Because the swelling starting now, it's like if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. Oh, great block there. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Big right hand there. Uh, what a stop. Uh, stop, All right, stop, there's the horn. Stop. An appreciative crowd responding in kind. He rocked his opponent multiple times there in that round. Looked very confident in doing so. They might even bring in the RP here. I mean, he was. it was relaxation at its finest. Just so relaxed, so comfortable in the fire, which then allowed him to land these big strikes that had his opponent buzz on many, many occasions. But he cannot get desperate. Don't go crazy trying to finish the fight. Let it come to you. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end. Oh, oh, the accuracy of the right there. His opponent's wobble chin. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, big left hook there. Punch over the top. Body shot. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Hands high, hands high. Hands up. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Joy's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Nice combination on the feet, and now works it to a takedown. Burns is in half guard now. Great shot from the top position. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Change of the position. Three minutes to go. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Darce. That Darce choke is tight. It looks like the Darce choke is in. He's got it locked in now. What he's got to do is start to feed his hip, try to hook the leg so that his opponent can't roll his back. This has got to be it. He's got the submission. Oh, he cleared it and he got out. He cleared the leg, got to his back, and now... 
Good work from the top here by Burns. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Oh, nice combination of ground and pound here by Burns. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Well, you know he's tougher than I am, right? But this man has absorbed so much damage upstairs that I wouldn't be surprised to see the referee call in the doctor at some point. But at some point, you got to take a look at him. He's so bruised. He's so battered. He's so swollen. And credit to his opponent for finding a route to victory and staying on that. He has dominated this fight. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Trying to land the punch, but... Yeah, he's really bad. to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pitch. Missed on the right hand. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body. Huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. There you go. There you go. Final seconds. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Ten minutes in the books. <laughs> All right, we head back to the stools, and hopefully this is not the end of the fight, but I don't have to tell you fans out there, the swelling on the face has gotten extreme, and I do believe this fight could end at any moment. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round on the way. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high ball. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and you come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Nice defense. Well, why fix what's not broken? Why not go right back to that overhand here again? Straight right, he misses. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. Well, when you absorb damage like this, you start to worry about a guy missing the rest of the year. At what point, if you're the referee, do you call him the ring side position? Well, right now, yeah. I feel like a bit a little bit ago. You could have called in the ring side position, and no one would have cared because you look at him and you see that he has been thoroughly beaten, and tonight is just not as good. And that, that's the danger in the engagement there. What a great sequence by him mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack it. Ooh, what a punch. 
beautiful job getting those hands up. Just over three minutes to go in round three. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Burns, his nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Look at the control of the posture as they land that knee. Oh, lands a nice straight. Back to the overhand. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So, for him to hear that knockout early, he has to feel good going forward. Joy gets up. He is back on the feet here. And the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Looking to land the right just out of range. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat streak. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Oh, a big left hand. Oh, Burns is blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. So the blood really starting to flow every time that... <laughs> Takedown defense holds up. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Under a minute to go. Another pinpoint strike there, and no surprise to see the swing. Oh, Gotta start looking for the finish here. Big right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. A beautiful technique to land the overhand. And we're headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the end of the round, and the end swell can only do so much, right? His face looks like it has been injected. It's so swollen. This fight could end at any moment. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw the previous round. Both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecards will not be needed. If we continue to fight as we did in the previous round, somebody is going to sleep. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, this one could be over soon. Back to his feet. Hooked by Joy. Burns really making things difficult for the opposite. Oh! oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Burns. Oh! The Korean Superboy does it again!
we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, five seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the real tonight.